What's up, genders? The Madman Army here, and welcome to the 44th episode of my Minecraft Survival Let's Play. In between episodes, I've done an overnight AFK session at my new bread, potato, beetroot, and carrot farm. What? And here are the spoils of that AFK session. This double chest is full up to this one. This one is up to here. This one is that. That's full and up to here. And this one is this left. And what do I want to do this episode? What do I want to do this episode? Oh my god, I am going back to the biggest project I've ever done. I took about a week or two of a break and I'm ready. I'm ready to go again. Last time I was working on this project, I spent about 56 hours digging out all of these holes. And well, I've had a few people ask, what the heck was the point of these holes? What are you going to do with them? Like what? I'm going to fill all of the holes up with TNT. Yes, you heard me right. I'm going to blow up this entire hole with one massive explosion. Just humongous. Now, how much TNT am I going to need? Th that's a problem I need to figure out. So if I go down here, I've done a bunch of testing on how I have to place the TNT. What I, what I have to do to place it is I have to go TNT block, TNT block. I can't go TNT block block. I just tested that, like literally just then. TNT block is the cheapest you can do it. So I just do TNT block all the way to the top. And that's it done. That's the first one done. So from that, I used almost 32. 32 minus 4. I used 28 TNT for that. So, bruh. So let me do some math real quick. So there's 64 times 64 holes. So there's 4,096 holes. So do I just have to go that times 28? The amount of T- Oh my god, that is a lot. That is a lot. I don't know. I hope I don't have to use that much. I hope I done the math right. How many stacks is that? That's 1,000 stacks of TNT. So if I times this by 4, that's how much sand I need to make the TNT. Divide that by 64, 7,168 stacks. So I want to divide this by 54. 54... That's a hundred. Oh my god, that is so much more than I expected. That's a hundred and thirty-two double chests of sand I need just to make enough TNT to fill up the hole. Oh my gosh. And not only do I need that many double chests full of sand, but I need a hundred and sixty-five double chests full of gunpowder as well. So instead of having four rows of these, I've got to extend it to 14. Well, damn, look at this. 14 stacks. So I'm definitely going to be AFKing every single freaking night at this farm. After I'm done breaking sand, I'm coming back home and I'm going to place myself in that little hole over there in AFK. But back to the task at hand. See, to farm sand, I'm going to need a lot of shovels, right? Well, I've only got the two, the one that I use and the one that I have spare. So, I'll make a full row. I'll just make a full row of diamond one. You know what? No. I'll make a full row plus these four. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah. Look at all of them. I haven't put um, mending on all of them yet because, well, I'm starting to run out. I've only got all of these ones mending. But I haven't put those books on them yet because I'm just going to get rid of all of their durability just in case I ac accidentally forget about them and they break. And then when I go and repair them, I'll put mending on them. So what I need to do now is go find a spot for me to just demolish an entire desert. I feel like this desert right here is good enough. I spent a little while. I'm not too many thousand blocks away from my base. But this is a pretty damn big desert. Starts at that, what, what is it, mushroom biome. Goes all the way over here. Way over here. Way, way, way over here. Yeah, I also filled up my entire inventory with shulker boxes, so I'm either going to fill all of them up or all of my pickaxes durability is going to be gone. Whatever happens first, I'm going to stop there. I filled up all of the shulker boxes and it only took me about an hour to three hours. I wasn't timing it. But yeah, all of them are full. Not all of my pickaxes... Uh, I said pickaxes last time. It was actually shovels. I still haven't used most of my shovels. I actually broke one shovel. And this leads up to about 11 double chests and a half so if I do this around 13 14 more times I'll have all my my things done and that's that's not including the time it'll take to repair all the pickaxes every time I use them all and aids and how I'm gonna store all the sand is right here so I can have it right next to the gunpowder and the reason I want it right next to the gunpowder is so I don't have to walk back
back and forth a billion freaking times. I can just craft it all in the one spot. And how I'm gonna do it, instead of crafting all of it in one massive freaking long unending mental breakdown of a crafting session. I'm just gonna do it inventory at a time. I'm just gonna craft an inventory, use an inventory, craft an inventory, use an inventory over and over and over. And well, I'll just update you guys daily on how much work that I get done. So, see you at the end of today. The end of day one and I've gotten 23 full double chests completely full of sand. It's the end of day two, and I perfectly somehow got a complete 69 double chest completely full of sand. Didn't even mean to. It's the end of day three. I think I'm starting to go insane. I've completely done, uh, um, what was it? 103 and a half double chests full of sand. I'm so close. I've only got about... 30, 40, 35, 40. I've only got 40 more double chests to go. Guys, it is, it is the end of day four. It's five in the morning. I was going to stop at 11 at night, but no, I grinded through. I, oh man, I just wanted to finish this. I got all, I, it, so it's 145 double chests. I needed 132, but I thought, eh, may as well, I'm gonna need glass in the future. So yeah, I filled it. All 145 double chests are completely done scaroonies. Oh my gosh, I done some math, it, I have done about 8 hours a day of work on this. And to prove it, this is where I started digging out the desert, let me fly to where I got up to. I'm just gonna... Just gonna shut up. Witness, witness its true glory. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I didn't destroy that island, but all of that, it's sandstone. All over there, it's sandstone. And then I stopped around this line here. I took out a big chunk there. There's still way more over here. It's just insane. This is the biggest desert I've ever seen in my life, and I destroyed over half of it, I reckon. Of course, like I said earlier, I didn't do big mountains because um they just ended up taking more time. Look at this, though. Oh, my gosh. If I go into my statistics, into my items, look, 506,000 sand mind it would be more but when my world got corrupted i had to reset all my stats and it sucks and and i only broke two shovels out of all 500,000 done oh that is i'm god i am literally the best minecraft player in the world do you guys not think so as well anyways i've had a full night's rest now i'm gonna start my stopwatch and i'm not gonna stop until i complete one just one full row. I'm gonna do this first first row, just fill it up with tint. Well, things aren't looking good for me, I guess. I filled up the first row, it looks pretty smooth all the way up and down. It's just full of TNT. If I wanted to, I could demolish all of this right now, but I wanna do it on a full scale. But sadly, it took an hour to do this. So, simple maths. It'll take 64 hours to do all of these. Oh, man. If I work 8 hours a day, that's still another 8 days. That's 13 days till a video. Better get to work then. I'll just go back to doing the day 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm, this, I'm on day 5 right now. Alright, we're at the end of day 5. I haven't done much today. All I've done is pretty much cut this into 4 quarters, as you can see here. I've just put a line through both top and bottom middle thingy vertical horizontal and pretty much just all around getting a feel of the quickest way the most efficient way to place down all the blocks yeah that's day five moving on to day six i've started on the bottom left corner i've gotten a fair few layers done but i've just been working for so freaking long Oh, man. Well, guys, it's day seven. It was bound to happen. The TNT has started blowing up. This is so sad. I haven't even placed in one-fourth of it, and it's gone wrong. But I am in very large amounts of danger right now because, um, well, you know, I'm right next to TNT, so I'm going to have to try and... Uh, fly up and not die really quickly. I'm going to turn my sensitivity up so I can look straight up 
And... <sighs> no! Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> I don't know if my PC can handle this. Look at my FPS. It's so chonky. Okay. Can I watch it happen? I'm scared. I'm genuinely afraid. Has it... Oh! It's happening! <laughs> Look at the sand fly everywhere! What? Oh my god! One sec. Let me lower my render distance. Because I'm only watching the one-fourth of it. Yeah, there we go. Do I have a little bit better FPS? Holy crap! Look at it all! <laughs> no! Oh no! This is so sad. This is so depressing. Look at it all explode. Oh. I'm gonna cry. JK lol troll. Holy crap, this is just humongous. So, it doesn't work perfectly. There are some bits that are missing. It's still exploding over there as well. It's got a loop all the way around. Look at it go. <laughs> oh my god. That's insane. That's really cool though. Damn.